All right, so we have some really interesting news coming out of Cedar Fair and Canada's Wonderland. And in fact, I think this is phenomenal. I'll get to that in a second. So I just wanted to take time to thank Cody and Surya on Facebook and from Canada's Wonderland for sending me in these images. I had no idea this was going on because let's face it, I have no life and I go to the park to film instead of riding rides. So thanks so much, you two, especially Surya. Uh, for any of you that have noticed, uh, my terminology is getting slightly better and a lot of that comes from Surya. He's very educated and knowledgeable in terms of roller coasters and theme parks and sitting down with him and learning things is actually phenomenal. So if you ever have time to meet him, definitely go do that. So it looks like Canada's Wonderland has started a kind of line jumping deterrent. So from what I understand, they're testing it out on Leviathan right now, and it just started. So you'll get a ticket at the entrance from a greeter. And then once you get to the top, before picking your row, you hand this to someone or they scan it. I'm assuming you hand it to them and they check the number to ensure you are not line jumping. So as you can read, it says you must present this ticket in proper order to gain ride access. Do not lose. Line jumping is defined as cutting in front of other guests who are already in line, saving a place for someone, leaving the line, then attempting to re-enter at the same point. Since this includes using the restroom or purchasing food or drink, we suggest you make all the stops prior to entering the line. It's very straightforward. It, we already know this as enthusiasts, but a lot of the guests don't know this. So in fact, not only do I think this is a phenomenal idea to help deter line jumpers, I think this is a phenomenal idea to educate general public in terms of line jumping. To be honest, to play devil's advocate of both sides, I think the average guest really doesn't understand or comprehend that line jumping is actually very annoying. You get the guest that really does need to go to the washroom or they have the child with them that really needs to go to the washroom and to them, they're thinking, okay, I'm just gonna go take care of this and I'll come back and no big deal, no one will be upset. Whereas in reality, a lot of people get upset. So I like this idea because not only is it starting the process of Cedar Fair caring about line jumping and taking action, which is phenomenal, it's educating guests. So this is a win-win in a lot of situations. And I wanna hear from you guys down below. What do you think? Do you think this is a great concept? What would you do to change this concept? And do you think this it would work at a lot of Cedar Fair parks like Cedar Point, Kings Island, Kings Dominion, Knott's Berry Farm, and Carowinds? Do you think you could see this coming to your home park? I just wanted to show you guys this really quickly. I also wanted to praise it. I think this is phenomenal on the, um, whoever decided to do this at Canada's Wonderland. I absolutely love it. Again, it covers a lot of bases here. It is educating the general public and it is taking action and it's very cheap and effective. I haven't seen it in action, from, but from what I'm hearing, um, and I'm hearing this from very loyal fans of Wonderland who go almost daily, that this is a great system and it's working and they love it. So I'm not hearing anything negative about this yet. Just wanted to stress that, but I definitely wanna hear from you guys. What do you think about this? I think this is great, but what do you think? Comment down below what you think um, and what's your home park. And if you see this coming to your home park at a Cedar Fair Park, Thanks for watching guys. Hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't and share this video for others, especially those at a Cedar Fair chain to see what is coming in the future potentially. Have a good one guys, bye.